this is a sorry sight if ever I saw one. Morning, Ella. What's going on? Can you turn that thing down? My head's sitting. Aye, well, if you can't handle the ale, you should stick to water. Oh, morning. You look rough. Thanks. How much did I shop last night? More than you paid for, so don't start complaining. <sighs> Good night, then, Warrit. Ooh, magic. Mm. Well, you managed to keep me awake after night. The amount of huffing and puffing that were coming from your room. Thought somebody would have an heart attack. That fresh tea in that pot. <sighs> Morning. Morning. Hi. Boys, the breakfast is ready. Good night last night. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Why don't you go and sit down? Your breakfast is getting cold. Uh, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't see me. Look, Jack, just because we managed to have one good night out doesn't mean everything's suddenly all right. I'm starving. Good. Dig in. What are you saying, Sarah? Isn't it obvious? Why don't you go and have your breakfast? Where are you going? Out. What about your breakfast? Suddenly lost my appetite, lad. Are you not having any? I don't risk it. Not after last night. <laughs> Got a hangover, have we? No, I have not, young lady. I think I've been poisoned. I've been up most of the night. Oh, here we go. I'm going to kill that Marlon Dingle. That is, if I can ever manage to leave this house. I never thought I'd see the day when my son had to kick down on sofa like some old dosser. Well, let's face it, there's a perfectly good bed upstairs. If you don't mind my saying, Nelly, that is between Butch and Emily. Now, could we please change the subject? I mean, it's not as if she's bringing any money in. She works in that shop for now. Viv Windsor must have seen her coming. If you want my opinion, it's about time she were told to either shape up or ship out. Now look what you've done. Oh. Can you not keep your big mouth shut? Well, somebody had to say it. And talking of shipping out, is it about time you find yourself alternative accommodation? Hey. If you've got something to say, spit it out. It was only supposed to be a temporary arrangement in the first place. Oh, right. Well, I can take it in, you know. I'll be on my way. Look, don't be daft. I'm not being daft. I'm not stopping anywhere. I'm not welcome. Of course you're welcome. You'll always be welcome. Not by some, I won't. Didn't mean it, did you, Lisa? I did, Zach. Yes, be honest. She could hardly be accused of scouring the place for somewhere to live. She's not even looked. And what would you know about it? You're hardly here. You're out working all day, not here at home like you should be. What did you just say? You heard me. How dare you tell me how to run this family? Well, it's about time somebody did. Oh, will you shut up, the pair of you? Now, let's get one thing straight. This is my house. And I say what is what around here. And to quote Dingle Law, whilst I've got a roof over my head, you'll always have one over yours. What's a dingle? Always a dingle. It's just the way it goes. Now, shut up and sit down! Make another brew, will you, Lisa? Are my breakfast really that awful? Oh, sorry, I'm... Uh, I'm just not very hungry, that's all. Surprised to see you here, actually. <sighs> all right. I thought you'd be having breakfast in bed this morning. Looked to me like you were having a pretty good time last night. Yeah, well, looks can be deceptive, you know. Um, everyone goes through bad patches, you know, Jack. This isn't a bad patch, Cathy. We've been through bad patches. This is something else. <sighs> no, I might as well be in flame in Africa. Can't do right for doing wrong. I'm frightened to open my mouth most of the time. Have you talked about it? <laughs> it's like talking to a brick wall. No, we're not even... You know... Having for ages, to be honest. You now she's just... Cut herself off, doesn't want to know anymore. If I say anything, she just... Well, flies off the handle. I'm, I'm on edge all the time. How long's this been going on? <sighs> Months. Mind you, if I'm really honest... The rot set in a long time ago. It's uh, it's 
pretty bad. She reckons she'd leave if it wasn't for the kids. I feel lost, Cathy. I feel, I feel as if I'm being ground down. Is there anything I can do? Uh, yeah. You wouldn't take for my breakfast out of Sarah's wages, would you? <laughs> Come out of the house without any money. <laughs> I think Cathy enjoyed herself last night. How do you mean? Graham. If you ask me, love was definitely in the air for those two. I think Cupid was on overtime last night. What do you think of Graham? Well, he's not my cup of tea. Never did go in for the bookworm type. But I'd say he's definitely Cathy's. Yeah. I'd like to know where that Frankie is when you need her. Probably still in bed knowing her. Oh, don't. The mind boggles. I feel as rough as rats. Yeah, you look it and all. I don't know how you dare present yourself looking like that. Go and wash your face. I haven't washed my face in 30 years, so I'm not about to start now, am I? Sorry, I forgot. You haven't washed your face in 30 years? A cleanse and tone, Marlon. It's a tip I picked up from Katie Boyle. Who's Katie Boyle? Oh, that's it. I'm definitely having air of the dog now. What did I say? Well, I'm glad to see you've deigned to make an appearance. I think yourself lucky. Could have gone either way this morning, the hangover I have. Well, I suppose we're honoured then. I'm off for a lie down. <sighs> right, then toilets need a good clean out. In your own time, Frankie. What she don't mean it. She speaks before she thinks. She does mean it. Perhaps she's right. We should be, you know. Doing it. But I can't change who I am, can I? No. And I won't want you to, Emily. Do you mean that? Of course I do. Why won't I? Because you're a man. And she's right about me not bringing any money in. I can't see that changing overnight. Well, I'm going to have to go. Jack's going to be wondering where I am. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yeah. I'll just finish my coffee. Yeah. See you later. And see you, love. Even taking someone on part-time would be a help. I think I should put a card up in the shop. Why not our family? <coughs> You can't do that. She works for them. It depends what you mean by working. She isn't getting paid, is she? She might be grateful for the money. Go on. Ask her. She can always say no. Can I pay for the coffee? Emily, are you... Are you still over at the shop? Yeah. Mind you, we're hardly rushed off our feet. That's why I popped out for the coffee. It helps to split up the day. Makes it go faster. Actually, I'm looking for more staff in the diner. Lucky you. Oh, lucky you. Depending which way you look at it. Diane? Uh, are you in there? Uh, hang on a minute. I'm not decent. Well, I can come back if it's not convenient. Uh, no, no, you're all right. Almost there. Just come in. I just, just thought you might like this. Is there a brandy in it? Oh. Only joking. So, how are you feeling this morning? Oh, you know, fragile. And you? Yeah, about the same. <laughs> Good night, though. Definitely. Right, well, well I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it, then. It's half now. You mean I'd get a proper pay packet? <laughs> yes, of course. Go on. Just say yeah. Why don't you sort it out with Viv first and then you can start whenever you want? Sorry I'm late, Cathy. Don't ask, all right? Talking of Mrs Windsor, I'd better be getting back. She's not feeling too good today. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised the amount she sucked last night. <laughs> it's a wonder she's so conscious. 
Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. It's just one of those mornings, you know what it's like. Yeah. Jack was in earlier. Oh. He seemed pretty upset. I know things haven't been right between Look, Kathy, us. I don't want to talk about it. It's none of your business. Sarah, I'm just concerned. After all, we're virtually family. You're Jack's family, not mine. I care about you both. Oh, thanks. However, that doesn't mean we have to live in each other's pockets. <sighs> That's not what I'm saying. No? Well, what are you saying? I just want to help. Fine. I'll tell you how you can help. You can keep your nose out of my affairs. Now, I've got a job to do, remember? You might be interested to know that I have an appointment on Friday with a solicitor. The feminist type, what you might call a champion of women's causes. You know the sort likes to see justice done. Look, why don't you just leave me alone, Eric? Kathy's happy. I love her. So why don't you just stop hounding me and give me a break? I'll let you know how the meeting goes, shall I? your reservation for Tulip Cottage this weekend. You can pick the keys up any time Thursday. How much are these? 28 pence. Just go on then, Mike. How many Valentine's cards did you get? Uh, loads. No, just call me a babe magnet. It's the right liar. He only got one. Whereas the postman almost broke his back delivering mine. <laughs> which, which one did you like best? I can't remember I got that many. <laughs> In your dreams. Where's my mum? Upstairs. i better go see if she's all right. Yeah, I'm messing with getting off. Oh, see you later. Yeah, see you. You can come back if you want to. Uh, no, thanks. We'd better get off, really. Well, if you're sure. I'll see you tomorrow, then. See, see you. Then. How much is this? 32 pence. Have you uh, got any Belgian chocolates? We did have. They might be in the back. Hang on a minute. I some. What do you think you're doing? Does it look like dark? You can't do that. These places have got insurance against nicking, that's why prices are so high. I'm just keeping the system going. Yeah, but you don't nick from your mates. One box of Belgian chocolate. Um, I've just remembered I'm on a diet. See ya. Do you fancy a drink after then? I promised Cathy I'd help her stock take. Are you sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. What's the matter? It's just that... You know, you and Jack seemed to be last night. Nothing happened, Richie. Right. So, do you fancy a drink after then? I'd love to, but I think we should be a bit careful. So do I. That's why I've got a bottle of wine over at the office. Don't tempt me. Candles. What about music? I'll sing to you. <laughs> I mean it, I'll sing to you. Uh, yeah, I'm just coming. So will I see you later then? I don't know. It's a pity. Still, you could always change your mind. Yeah, hey, you've started a bit early, haven't you? Oh, don't be like that. I'm enjoying myself. It's possible to enjoy yourself sober, you know. Not when you get to my age, it isn't. Uh, put us another sweet sherry in that, will you, love? See what I mean? Yeah, you're knocking them back a bit quick tonight, aren't you, Betty? Ah, uh, well, perhaps I need to. Something the matter? Well, you could say that. I've gone and done something really daft. Oh, why can't I keep my big mouth shut? I blame them flaming oysters, me. Oh, what have you done? I've only gone and asked Seth to marry me. Oh, how romantic. And did he say yes? Well, of course he said yes. Why do you think I'm looking like this? Good night. I thought I'd find you here. I'm going to just jump my way home, actually. Oh. Have a little drink with me first. 
I shouldn't. Oh, just to say thank you for this morning. And Lisa's working late, isn't she? Well, go on, then. Just the one, mind. That's my boy. So that's 42 orange, 16 apple, 9 tomato. Hang on, hang on. 42 orange. Oh, do you fancy a coffee? Got anything stronger? Oh, oh I can't see my clothes. Uh, bottle of wine in the fridge, corkscrew third drawer down. you'd like to let me know what's going on. Is, uh, something the matter, Viv? Don't go all sickly sweet. It won't work on me. You know what I'm talking about. Do you know, I thought you and me had something in common. We're both in the same boat. We both have businesses to run. But, oh, no, you don't miss a trick, do you? Is this about Emily? Two writers about Emily. Poach, you know where my defences are down? Mind you. You were married to a Tate, weren't you? I suppose you've always known which side your bread's buttered. Viv, I'm not standing here arguing with you. That's because you're wrong, and you know it. Well, you know what they say, don't you? What comes round goes round. You'll get your come up as young lady, and I just hope I'm here when it happens. Oh, dear. Fancy a drink? How many bottles have we got? <laughs> All that's left is loneliness. There's nothing left to feel. You don't have to. So rather jolly in here. Yeah, well, she's been drinking all day. Hand. Really? You oh, don't get me wrong. She don't make a habit of it. She's not an alky or anything. GNT for you. Uh, no, thanks. I think after last night, I'll just stick to mineral water. Still feeling a bit. Believe me. Thank you. There's the pie. Coming up. <laughs> Where is he? Where's who? Mr Salmonella, that's who. If you've got a complaint, Viv, it's me you should be talking to. Did someone mention my name? You, my lad, have got a lot of explaining to do. I spent all of last night and most of this morning on the toilet. I lost very valuable business because of it. Um, excuse me. Where exactly do I come into all this? The oysters. They must have been riddled. I oh, know the complaints, Viv. Oh, well, how do you know? They probably couldn't get here. They're probably held hostage in their own toilets. <laughs> Um, well, maybe she did pick a bad oyster. I mean, there's no way of telling. I came here for a running buffet, not a game of Russian roulette. Would you like a drink on the house, Viv? I want more than a drink on the house. I want compensation. I shall be straight down the environmental health tomorrow morning. Bells permitting. Well, I hope for your sake, Marlon, she's not serious. Otherwise, you'll be in for the chop. <laughs> Sarah... I don't want to interfere, Yeah, but... I know. I'm sorry I flew off the handle this morning. It's becoming a regular feature. Yeah, Jack said. Look, he didn't mean anything by it. No, I bet he didn't. Oh, come on, you know Jack. He just needed to talk. Can we finish the stock-taking? I'm getting rather tired. Yeah, sure. Same again, is it? No, no, no. I've got to be getting back. Oh, let's have one for the road. We've already had three for the road. I'm making tracks. All right, I'll come with you. No, no, no. You, you stay and enjoy yourself. No, I won't come with you. It'll be like old times. <laughs> well, I'd better get off. He'll be wondering where I am. Just tell him, Betty. It's always best to be honest. Eh? Right, me all right, love. Mm. Good night. Uh, large whiskey, please, Bernice. Marlon can have a word. I've made an appointment for Friday. With a solicitor? Yeah. And I mentioned it to, uh, you know who? And? and he looks certainly very, very worried. One large whiskey. Thank you. Thank you. We've got him on the run, Marlon. Cheers. Here is to Friday. And um, before you go, Sarah, I just want to say... Look, that... Cathy, just leave it. I don't want to argue. Neither do I. But have you thought what this must be doing to the kids? What exactly did Jack say to you, oh, Sarah? He just needed to talk. Yeah, well, he should be talking to me. But that's just it. He can't. He said you're not even sleeping together, and if it wasn't for the kids, you wouldn't even be there. Look, this is between Jack and me. I've told you once, 
Keep your nose out of Hang my affairs. Hang on a minute. I am just thinking about the kids. Oh, well, that's rich coming from someone that's just given up a child. Don't you dare tell me what's right or what's wrong. Because as far as I'm concerned, you haven't got a clue. No matter where I roam, or land or sea or foam, you can always... I'll always love you. Do you know that? Yeah, and I'll always love you too, but now let's get inside, it's freezing. I could search the whole world over, but I'd never find anybody like Zack Dingle. Oh, come here. I hope I'm not disturbing anything. We're just a friendly hug, Lisa. It didn't mean anything. Hi. Hi. What's happened? Everything's such a mess, Richie. Come and sit down. I just can't stand it anymore. I hate living round here. I hate Jack. I hate my work. I hate my life. Calm down. Nothing can be that bad. Wanna bet? Shall I make it better? <laughs> 